On December 7, 1873, Willa Cather was born near Winchester, Virginia. She was the first of seven children to be born. It was here, in Back Creek, Virginia, where she spent the first years of her life. In 1883, at the age of nine, her family moved to a relative's ranch in Catherton, Nebraska. However, struggling to establish their homestead, they sold their land and settled in the town of Red Cloud. A few years later, in 1890, she began her studies in Lincoln, followed by her attendance at the University of Nebraska. Go Huskers! Here, she planned to study medicine and science. After graduating in 1895, she departed for Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and received jobs of a magazine editor, as well as a newspaper and drama editor for the Daily Leader. After her several years stint in the editing industry, she directed her career towards teaching at the high school level. It was after this that she launched herself into the literary career that she is known for, one in which she earned the heralded award known as the Pulitzer Prize. On April 24, 1947, she passed away in New York City. Throughout her lifetime, Willa Cather produced some of the most famous works of all time. In 1903, Willa Cather produced her first volume of poetry called April Twilights. The following year, she released a Wagner matinee, which appeared in the magazine Everybody's Magazine. This story was added to her first collection of short stories called The Troll Garden. Her first novel became Alexander's Bridge and was published in 1912. She produced 12 novels throughout her long career, with highlights including O Pioneers and My Antonia published in 1913 and 1918 respectively. Other significant works include One of Ours, Death Comes from the Archbishop, and A Lost Lady. She ended her career with her final novel, Safira and the Slave Girl, published in 1940. Willa Cather's literary career spanned books, short fictions, interviews, speeches, nonfiction, journalism, and letters. A Wagner matinee background. Information. The story pertains to the contrast between rural and urban life. The character, Aunt Georgina, wishes for for a cultured, urban life, rather than her life on the prairie. The story, as well as the character of Aunt Georgina, is truly a reflection of the life of Willa Cathal. The first person point of view became an essential part of the story, allowing it to develop into an observation of the character Aunt Georgina. Aunt Georgina is a woman who has lived on the Nebraskan frontier for years. However, her characteristic literary attitude has deteriorated over times. We witness Aunt Georgina in this deteriorated state. She has gained the respect and admiration of Clark for her skills in music and languages. On the other hand, Clark is the nephew of Aunt Georgina and is also the narrator of the story. By growing up with his aunt, Clark too begins to appreciate the arts. Howard Carpenter, the uncle of Clark, is also the husband of Aunt Georgina and the man with whom she ran away with. And finally, there's Mrs. Springer, who is the landlady of Clark's home. Although the majority of the story takes place in Boston, Massachusetts, there is a slight portion that is located at Aunt Georgina's Nebraska homestead.